Zach Sherwood. Hi, Zach. We're doing an educational show for college students, so uh -huh. people that are watching this are going to be like students. So I'm just kind of college curious, students. how um, how did you develop into this genre? What was kind of the motivating factor behind that? Well, I've been writing funny books for kids for years. I did joke books, 101 school cafeteria jokes and 101 werewolf jokes. And one day, I, this is embarrassing because I didn't really think of doing the horror stuff myself. I always loved horror, but I never thought about writing it. One day I was having lunch with an editor, a friend of mine, and she said, I bet you could write a good scary teen novel. Go home, write a book called Blind Date. She gave me the title. She, I didn't know what she was Worked talking about. I said, sure, no problem. You know, I was at that point in my career where you never say no. You just say yes to everything. Sure. And uh, so I went to the bookstore to find out what she was talking about and bought a bunch of books by other writers who were doing scary stuff for kids and tried to figure out what I could do that was different. And that's how I got started. It's kind of embarrassing since it wasn't my idea. Right. But I wrote that book called Blind Date. And it was the number one bestseller on the kids list. And I thought, wait a minute, I found something here. I've struck a chord with kids, and I've been scary ever since. I'm a machine, pretty much. I treat it like a full-time job. And I sit down and start to write at 10 every morning and write till I'm brain dead. I right, write about 15 pages a day. Well, uh, what kind of advice? I, I'm hesitant to give advice to aspiring writers because aspiring writers know, they already know they want to be writers. You don't have to encourage people. You, you know, you, at some point in your life say, gee, I'm going to be a writer. And then other people just discourage them usually, yeah. right? So I'm a little hesitant. But I, this trick, I think, is to read as much as you can. And don't read one genre, don't read one author. Try to read as wide a variety of stuff as you can. Yeah. Because just by osmosis, you get, uh, it all soaks all the different styles, styles kind of soak into your brain.